Season 10, Episode 90, Lin Dong Gathering of the Strong. An uproar erupted in the fighting arena because of Lin Dong's words. In fact, even the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander and the rest were stunned as they stared at Lin Dong. After all, they clearly knew how powerful the Zhou Yi duo was. At the very most, they could only match up to them in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Therefore, although Lin Dong's fighting strength was comparable to a Samsara stage expert, wasn't it a little of a stretch for him to fight against the two of them by himself? Regardless, the current Lin Dong was merely at the advanced profound death stage. Little Flame was also taken back by Lin Dong's words. However, he merely glanced at Lin Dong and did not speak up. Although he felt some queries in his heart, his trust in Lin Dong remained unwavering. Brother Lin Dong, do you mean? You wish to fight against the both of us by yourself? Currently, Zhou Yi had a strange expression. He naturally knew that Lin Dong had an extraordinary fighting strength. In fact, he was able to match up to a Samsara stage expert even though he was merely at the peak advanced profound death stage. In fact, Zhou Yi was not even confident that he could defeat Lin Dong in a one-on-one -on -one fight. However, to fight the both of them by himself, isn't Lin Dong getting a little too arrogant? Lin Dong nodded. There were hardly any emotions in his voice. Why? Are you not going to make use of this opportunity? Lin Dong clearly knew that the Zhou Yi duo were arrogant and prideful individuals. Even though owing to circumstances, they had little choice but to join the Four Titans Palace, it was inevitable for them to have secret designs. Hence, the only way to truly subjugate them was to beat them until they no longer had the guts to rebel. Moreover, this was also a form of deterrence. In fact, this deterrence would not be limited to Zhou Yi's group. At the same time, the growing number of experts in Four Titans Palace would also be affected. Ha ha, since brother Lin Dong wants to fulfill our wishes, we have no reason to reject. Zhou Yi laughed heartily, while his eyes were filled with rich joy. In his opinion, Lin Dong was gifting a leadership position to the both of them. When Lin Dong heard his reply, he merely smiled. However, he gave no other explanation. Zhou Li, go and spar with brother Lin Dong first. However, Zhou Yi and Zhou Li did not attack together right away. After all, they still had to rely on Lin Dong in the future. Therefore, they did not dare to offend him. Instead, Zhou Yi turned his head and instructed Zhou Li, who was standing beside him. I. Zhou Li nodded. After which, he cupped his hands towards Lin Dong and laughed, Brother Lin Dong, please pardon me. Bang. Vast and mighty Yuan power swept out from within his body in all directions after his voice sounded. The life chi and death chi and his Yuan power were perfectly merged. They appeared boundless, just like the mighty ocean. A powerful pressure spread and enveloped the entire arena, causing the expressions of many powerful individuals from the Four Titans Palace to change. Although the Zhou Yi brothers were arrogant, they were also quite powerful. Hence, it's no wonder they were able to dominate the entire Western Sand region. I heard that brother Lin Dong can match up to a Samsara stage expert, despite the fact that you are merely at the profound death stage. Today, I shall witness it for myself. Zhou Li laughed out loud. Then, he waved his sleeves before Yuan power surged from behind him. Stomping his foot violently on the ground, the ground immediately cracked. After which, everyone could only see a ray of light flash past, before Zhou Li appeared in front of Lin Dong in a ghost-like fashion, while being accompanied by a wild and violent offensive force. After which, he threw his palm forward. Rumble. The air in front of Zhou Li was seemingly completely shattered at this moment. A huge palm, which was filled with life death chi, materialized in mid-air before it smashed towards Lin Dong. Lin Dong lifted his head. His black pupils were reflecting that palm, whose reflection was being magnified in his pupils. However, his hands were lowered and he did not show any sign of retaliating. Hence, the surrounding onlookers were all puzzled when they saw this. That huge Yuan power palm arrived in the blink of an eye. However, the attack suddenly stopped when it was a hundred feet away from Lin Dong. After which, in front of many stunned pairs of eyes, it blew apart with a loud bang. This? Zhou Li was also startled by this scene. In that previous instant, he felt that his connection with that huge Yuan power palm was severed, before it self-destructed uncontrollably. Lin Dong had a nonchalant expression as he surveyed the shocked arena. Following which, his body slowly floated into the sky. Following which, resplendent silver white light rose from behind him like the rising bright sun. Is that? Solidified metal energy? This place was not lacking in sharp-eyed individuals. The most prominent examples were the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander Trio. Therefore, when they saw that resplendent silver sun behind Lin Dong's back, 
and detected the mighty ripples which even struck fear in their hearts, their expressions changed drastically before their eyes turned grave. This. Brother Lin Dong's mental energy has actually reached the symbol Grandmaster level? Amidst the uproar, the Ghost Condor Demon Commander Trio involuntarily exclaimed. Turning their heads, they faced each other and saw a shock that could not be concealed, in each other's eyes. The symbol Grandmaster level was an extremely profound level of the mental energy discipline. Upon reaching this level, one's mental energy would begin to showcase its shocking might. In fact, at that time, an ordinary Samsara stage expert would be no match for him unless that expert has touched reincarnation. In the past, although they knew that Lin Dong had profound accomplishments in mental energy cultivation, he had yet to reach the symbol Grandmaster level. However, he actually became this powerful after merely three months' time? Both of you should fight together. Otherwise, you guys will only be throwing away this opportunity. Standing in the sky, Lin Dong looked at the shocked Zhou Yi duo and spoke with a faint smile. Brother Lin Dong's mental energy is actually this powerful. I was too arrogant. Zhou Yi's expression also became extremely grave at this moment. After all, he knew how terrifying a symbol Grandmaster was. Although the Samsara stage was technically on the same level as the symbol Grandmaster level, the symbol Grandmaster level was a little stronger in a real fight. Let's attack together. Zhou Yi turned towards Zhou Yi before he said in a low and deep voice. Bang! Two vast and mighty auras erupted from within their bodies without reservations. Then, majestic Yuan power seemed to permeate across the sky. Soon after, both of them formed hand seals. It turns out that they were actually forming the same exact hand seal. Woo woo! As both their hand seals continuously changed, mighty Yuan power gathered above their heads like floodwaters. After which, they transformed into a 10,000 feet large black and white compass. Meanwhile, there were frightening ripples continuously being stacked on top of that compass. Life Death Sky Compass. A low cry suddenly erupted from their mouths. After which, that black and white compass immediately began to spin rapidly, causing cracks to appear on the surrounding space. Brother Lin Dong, this is the strongest defensive technique from us brothers. If you can break it, the both of us will obey your every command in the future. If we dare to disobey you, may we be punished by the heavens. The Zhou Yi duo stood proudly under their compass before their cries spread into the distance. Standing in the sky, Lin Dong smiled upon hearing this. Without further ado, he slowly shut both his eyes. After which, everyone felt that the entire place had become a little dimmer. Resplendent silver-white mental energy were just like monstrous waves, as they continuously surged out from within Lin Dong's body. After which, in front of countless pairs of eyes, they transformed into a 10,000 feet giant, who stood behind Lin Dong. The entirely silver white giant towered over the land. When that giant casually flipped his palm, a force that could obliterate the world spread. Whoosh whoosh. Unknowingly, a hurricane had begun to whistle across the sky. Subsequently, the hurricane began to rotate. Within 10 breaths time, it transformed into a 10,000 feet large tornado. Meanwhile, that tornado was filled with a terrifying ripping force. Lin Dong's eyes were still tightly shut as he stood in front of that giant. Then, the giant standing behind him extended his huge palm before he grabbed the tornado in front of many stunned pairs of eyes. Buzz buzz. Silver white mental energy surged into the tornado like floodwaters, before 10,000 silver rays of light shot out from within that tornado. Following which, the tornado shook before it transformed into a hurricane sword, that was forged from the tornado. Countless onlookers jaws dropped when they saw this scene. After all, though it was possible for a Samsara stage expert to form a giant sword using Yuan power, it was basically impossible for them to directly grab a tornado and transform it into a sword. After stepping into this level, the difference was truly day and night. The Zhou Yi duo's expressions were slightly distorted. It's no wonder the common saying goes that the strength displayed by a mental energy practitioner after he stepped into the symbol Grandmaster level, surpasses the strength displayed by a Yuan power practitioner after he stepped into a similar cultivation stage. Buzz. As their expressions became graver, the black and white compass began to rotate at an even more intense pace. Clearly, they were using every bit of Yuan power within their bodies. After all, they did not dare to underestimate Lin Dong anymore. With a hurricane sword in his hand, the giant finally swung it down. That hurricane sword was accompanied by a frightening storm as it swept down. In fact, the wild storm even caused the towering mountain to tremble. Sort of the ancestral symbol. A soft voice sounded within Lin Dong's heart after that giant swung his hurricane sword. Bang! 
From the tip of that wild and savage hurricane sword, a strange faintly visible symbol slowly began to spread. Finally, an incomparably bright lightning glow gushed onto the tip of the sword. An ancient symbol seemed to be floating deep within that lightning glow. Wind and lightning ripped through the land at this moment. Bang! As if a thunderbolt had ripped the heavens, the storm descended from the sky in an extremely frightening fashion, appearing just like an ancient wind dragon. Finally, it ruthlessly smashed against the 10,000 feet large black and white compass. An indescribable assault wave promptly erupted before the arena collapsed instantly. In fact, when many powerful individuals were hit by that wave, all of them vomited blood as they hastily retreated. However, even as they were retreating miserably, their eyes continued to stare intently at the source of the assault wave. At that spot, a hurricane sword with a bright lightning glow was clashing violently with the compass. The light grew increasingly resplendent during the face-off. Following which, the eyes of many powerful individuals gradually shrunk. That was because they saw many small cracks appearing on that black and white compass, which was formed by the combined Lao Yuan power of the Zhou Yi duo. How is this possible? Mutterings were emitted from the Zhou Yi duo's mouths after they saw the numerous glowing cracks that had appeared above their heads. Meanwhile, their eyes were filled with disbelief. They were actually unable to block a single attack from Lin Dong, despite having joined forces? Crack. It didn't matter that this was an exceptionally difficult fact to swallow. Reality was cruel. The cracks above their heads grew increasingly dense, before their compass collapsed and exploded. The energy storm swept forth before that hurricane sword, which was still suffused with a lightning glow, crushed the life-death sky compass instantly. After which, the entire place was silent. Then, the sword stopped a hundred feet above the Zhou Yi duo's heads. However, its sharp aura caused blood to appear on their bodies. While the entire arena descended into silence, Lin Dong, who was standing in the sky, slowly opened his eyes. Then, he looked at the somewhat stunned Zhou Yi duo in a nonchalant manner, before his faint voice resounded across the place. You have lost. You lost. When Lin Dong's voice spread across the sky, the originally quiet arena gradually turned into an uproar. Many people quietly parted their lips as they tried their best to calm the shock in their hearts. No one expected the result to appear so quickly. Initially, they thought that this fight would drag on for a while before the victor was decided. However, reality taught them the meaning of the word decisive. We. Lost. The stunned expressions on the faces of the Zhou Yi duo lasted for quite a while before they gradually recovered their senses. Exchanging glances with each other, they realized that both their faces were a little pale. However, they eventually nodded before they painfully admitted their defeats. Such overbearing mental energy. When the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander's group saw the final result, a grave expression surfaced in their eyes. Previously, Lin Dong had used his full strength when he attacked. However, the might of that sword attack caused them, who were merely bystanders, to feel their bodies turn cold. Moreover, they knew that if that attack was directed towards them, it was likely that they would be severely injured even if they could block it. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander Trio lifted their heads and looked at the scanny figure in the sky. There was a complicated emotion in their eyes. The first time they met Lin Dong, the latter had to use various techniques before he could barely deal with them. Yet, in less than a year's time, this young man, who was once an insignificant youth in their eyes, had slowly closed the gap before he finally surpassed them. The rate at which he was improving was truly frightening. The three of them sighed secretly in their hearts, before the final bit of dissatisfaction buried deep within their hearts finally vanished. With Lin Dong's current strength, they no longer had a reason not to submit to him. Furthermore, with his current strength, they finally accepted Lin Dong as the true leader of the Four Titans Palace. Moreover, this had nothing to do with the fact that he was the Dragon Tribe's punishment elder. Standing in the sky, the silver giant behind Lin Dong slowly disappeared. After which, warm sunlight once again scattered across the dim ground, enveloping the messy arena. Huff! A cluster of silver-white vapor was emitted from Lin Dong's mouth. When he felt the surging mental energy in his Naiwan palace, a satisfied expression emerged on his face. After advancing to the symbol Grandmaster level, the strength of his mental energy had undergone a drastic transformation. Moreover, he was merely at the initial symbol Grandmaster level. Additionally, unless it was a Samsara stage expert who has touched reincarnation, like First Elder Julie of the Celestial Demon Marta tribe, he did not fear any other Samsara stage expert. The bitter decade-long training in purgatory was ultimately not in vain. Thank you for allowing me to win. Lin Dong suppressed the thoughts in his heart before he landed on the ground. When he looked at the somewhat depressed Zhou Yi and Zhou Li, a warm smile appeared on his face. 
This was startling different from the icy cold expression from before. Previously, the Zhou Yi duo was far too arrogant. Hence, in order to get them to submit, Lin Dong had no choice but to display an even harsher stance. Otherwise, the Zhou Yi duo might secretly despise him if he chose to be soft with them right from the start. When they heard his words, the Zhou Yi duo immediately replied courteously. Their haughtiness from before had completely vanished. After all, they took pride in their own strength and from the way they saw it, even though the Four Titans Palace was quite formidable, the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander and the rest were only considered as their equals. Therefore, they refused to submit to them. However, they didn't expect that the Four Titans Palace actually had such a fearsome person, Lin Dong. Since the both of you are interested in joining my Four Titans Palace, the both of you shall become elders. Your subordinates will also become part of Four Titans Palace. However, you must obey our rules once you join and we will show no mercy to anyone who disobeys them. Lin Dong said. Yes. The Zhou Yi brothers nodded. They also understood that they did not possess the ability to discipline their subordinates. Otherwise, their subordinates would not be this scattered mob. Moreover, the Four Titans Palace would naturally not allow their subordinates to stir trouble. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander's group secretly sighed in relief when they saw that the Zhou Yi duo had finally submitted. Secretly, they were rather impressed with Lin Dong's actions. After all, if they were in his shoes, it was likely that they would have found it difficult to get those two arrogant individuals to submit. Increase the training intensity over the following days. A major event will occur soon in the Demon region and our Four Titans Palace must not miss out on it. Lin Dong turned his head and looked at the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander's group before he said. The Devouring Divine Palace would appear in less than a month's time and it would definitely cause a huge commotion in the Demon region. Hence, they had to make some preparations. Furthermore, although most individuals did not know what was inside the Devouring Divine Palace, it was impossible to keep the information under wraps for long. Hence, once the information was revealed, there was no telling just how many powerful individuals would swarm over. At that time, it was likely not going to be an easy task to successfully obtain the inheritance of the Devouring Master. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander's group felt a little doubtful when they heard Lin Dong's words. However, they merely nodded after they saw that Lin Dong did not intend to elaborate. Heaven Dragon, you will be responsible for handling Elder Zhou Yi and Zhou Li. Get them familiarized with the Four Titans Palace and arrange their duties. Understood. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander nodded and replied. Lin Dong did not linger on after issuing his instructions. He turned around and walked towards the main hall. Immediately, Little Martin and Little Flame followed closely behind, leaving behind many awestruck members of the Four Titans Palace. Brother Lin Dong is truly becoming increasingly unfathomable. The Golden Ape Demon Commander sighed as he looked at Lin Dong's figure. How unexpected. It has only been three months since we last saw him. Yet, he has already advanced to the symbol Grand Master level. The Ghost Condor Demon Commander also laughed bitterly. His voice was filled with amazement. Alright, let's cut it out. Behind Lin Dong are the Dragon Tribe and the Celestial Demon Martin Tribe. This is not something that an ordinary person can achieve. The reason why the Nine Phoenix Tribe did not attack our Four Titans Palace after we offended Mong Mountain, is all because of Lin Dong's background. Therefore, the Four Titans Palace can do without us, but it cannot do without Brother Lin Dong. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander glanced at the other two, before he said in a faint voice, given Brother Lin Dong's talent, who can say for certain that he will not advance into the reincarnation stage in the future. At that time, who in the Demon Region will not know the name, Four Titans Palace. Moreover, we will also be able to rely on this to grow our reputation in the entire Demon Region. Our reputation then, will definitely exceed that of being an overlord of a small territory like before. Therefore, I think it's best to quickly extinguish any rebellious thoughts in your minds. The both of you should be well aware of Brother Lin Dong's modus operandi. The Golden Ape Demon Commander and the Ghost Condor Demon Commander were both startled. After which, they nodded quietly. Big Brother, has your mental energy advanced to the symbol Grand Master level? In the main hall, Little Flame asked joyously. That's right. Lin Dong smiled and nodded. He looked at Little Flame's metal tower-like body. When the three of them stood together, he and Little Martin combined were not even half of Little Flame's size. Did the Ford Titans Palace run into any problems over this period of time? Lin Dong narrowed his eyes. Little Flame was managing the Ford Titans Palace by himself after he left. However, since the latter had yet to reach the Samsara stage, Lin Dong did not know if the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander Trio would willingly obey him. Nope. Big Brother, you can be rest assured. 
The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander trio might be powerful, but they are also wise individuals. Therefore, they didn't do any shady things behind my back. Little Flame nodded and replied. Good. Lin Dong felt assured after hearing this. The Four Titans Palace was something they were going to use when they charged back to the Eastern Xuan region. Therefore, if the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander trio tried to cause trouble, he could only strike them down. Additionally, someone from the Devil Tiger tribe came looking for me not long ago. Little Flame rubbed his head and said. Oh? Lin Dong was slightly startled. The Devil Tiger tribe was one of the Eight King tribes and they were quite powerful. Could it be that the reason why they came looking for a little flame was because the latter possessed the bloodline of the Devil Tiger tribe? The one who came to look for me was an elder of the Devil Tiger tribe. He said that I am extremely talented and can contest for the position of tribe leader of the Devil Tiger tribe. Little Flame replied, asking you to contest for the position of tribe leader? Lin Dong was bewildered. Although Little Flame possessed the bloodline of the Devil Tiger tribe, he had nothing to do with the tribe. Yet, they actually asked a foreign person like him to contest for the position of tribe leader? The Tiger tribes do not pay much attention to relationships. As long as one has a similar bloodline, one is qualified to contest for the position of tribe leader. Of course, the precondition is that one must possess formidable might. That is because the fight within the Tiger tribes will typically end with one victor. Moreover, the rest of them will typically be killed by their competitors. Standing beside them, Little Martin glanced lazily at Little Flame and said, It seems like the Devil Tiger Tribe Elder most likely came with bad intentions. Although Little Flame is quite powerful, he will most likely end up dead if he tried to contest for the position of Tribe Leader now. Lin Dong frowned. He did not expect the competition for the position of Tribe Leader in the Devil Tiger Tribe to be this bloody. Let's set aside this matter for now. You can get involved in that mess once you are confident in yourself. There is no need to rush. Lin Dong shook his head and cautioned. I. Little Flame did not object to Lin Dong's suggestion. After all, as long as Lin Dong did not give his approval, he would not agree to it. That's right. Big Brother. You mentioned that something big is going to happen in a month's time. What exactly is it? When Little Flame recalled what Lin Dong mentioned previously, he involuntarily asked out of curiosity. Seated on a chair, Lin Dong gently exhaled before he muttered, The Devouring Divine Palace. Little Flame's body stiffened, before his expression became completely solemn. After returning to the Four Titans Palace, besides that one day where he had to fight in order to intimidate the Dou Yi duo, the rest of Lin Dong's days were rather quiet and peaceful. Moreover, the Zhou Yi duo did not create any more problems after that day and this allowed the Four Titans Palace to descend into a peaceful state. However, due to Lin Dong's request, the atmosphere within the entire Four Titans Palace became exceptionally tense. Meanwhile, its defenses were also tightened. Time passed one day after another amidst this dense training environment. Over a dozen days later, Lin Dong was sitting in a hall located on a mountaintop. As he overlooked the many powerful individuals from Four Titans Palace who were training in the square below, he felt a tinge of satisfaction. However, just as he was about to leave, his expression suddenly changed before he lifted his head. Then, his dark black eyes contained a wild joy as he looked towards the distant northern sky. A crack surfaced between his brows, before the mysterious eye of the ancestral symbol stealthily appeared. Following which, Lin Dong's vision seemingly penetrated through space before it arrived at the distant northern region. A huge crack had appeared in that area. Meanwhile, a wild and violent energy, that seemed capable of dominating the world, spread from within that crack. The Yuan power in the entire land seemed to have become chaotic at this moment. It is finally about to appear. The eye of the ancestral symbol, that was wedged between Lin Dong's brows, slowly disappeared. Soon after, he gradually clenched his hand. However, the wave stirred in his heart refused to die down. That was because the day that he had been waiting for has finally arrived. The northernmost part of the demon region. There was an ancient desolate plains. Icy cold blade-like winds crazily swept over this place, slicing the ground and leaving it riddled with scars. This was an extremely remote area of the demon region. Due to the overly harsh conditions, hardly anyone chose to settle down in this area. Hence, since the ancient times, this place was only visited by a few humans. As such, this place also became the gathering ground for various highly intelligent wild demonic beasts, who had yet to attain self-consciousness. Although they were fellow demonic beasts, those in this area leaned closer towards the word beast. They were not very intelligent. Moreover, as few outsiders had stepped foot into this area, it allowed these demonic beasts to keep their powerful bloodlines, which were passed down since the ancient times. 
Furthermore, even though these bloodlines may be molded, they still possess frightening strength. In conjunction with their bloodthirsty nature, it caused this remote area to become increasingly deserted. However, as of now, there was a shocking and unusual development occurring in the sky above this area. One could see the empty space contorting, before a black crack, that was tens of thousands of feet in size, appeared. Bang! Indescribable energy ripples swept out from within the crack in all directions. Following which, those ripples spread at a rapid frightening pace, before they finally transformed into numerous light pillars that shot towards the clouds in the sky. Shockingly, one could clearly see those light pillars even from 5 kilometers away. Moreover, the energy ripples permeating within left countless individuals awestruck. As those light pillars shot towards the clouds, the energy ripples within the demon region instantly became a little chaotic. Following which, it quickly drew the attention of various powerful individuals. The Dragon Region. Since they were one of the four overlord tribes and they were located in the north of the Demon Region, the Dragon Tribe quickly detected the unusual activity that had occurred. Many rushing wind sounds suddenly appeared in the sky above the Dragon Tribe. Soon after, numerous people suddenly appeared in the sky. The first person who showed up was the tribe leader of the Dragon Tribe, Yuan Qian. Currently, he was looking towards the north with a grave expression. Meanwhile, there was rich shock flowing deep within his eyes. Tribe leader, this fluctuation. An elder of the Dragon Tribe asked in shock with a solemn expression. I wonder which top tier expert was born? Yuan Qian shook his head and said. It doesn't appear like someone was born into this world. From those ripples, I am able to detect signs that the space there has become chaotic. Therefore, it seems as though the space there was shattered. Shattering of space? Another Dragon Tribe elder was a little bewildered. Yuan Qian narrowed his eyes. A moment later, a glint flashed across his eyes. During the ancient times, when powerful top tier experts were about to die, the most capable ones will create a realm and die within. I tried to probe those energy ripples within previously. However, my senses were devoured upon making contact with them. Ha! Ever since the ancient times, the only one who possessed such frightening strength even after death is likely the Devouring Master. Devouring Master? The surrounding Dragon Tribe elders released an exclamation after hearing those words. Meanwhile, they were all visibly taken back. Clearly, this top-tier individual from the ancient times was not a foreign name to them. That place is going to become very lively. Taking into account the reputation of the Devouring Master, it is likely that countless top-tier experts would swarm over. At that time, an intense fight would definitely occur. An elder of the Dragon Tribe said. Even someone with his mental fortitude was attracted to the inheritance of the Devouring Master. Hence, even less needed to be said about others. The Devouring Master is a powerful legendary figure, who is even able to defeat our Dragon Tribe's Six Finger Sage Dragon Emperor Ancestor. I can feel a resistance coming from the realm where he died. However, it is not specifically targeting me. Instead, I believe that it is targeting every top tier expert who has reached the reincarnation stage. Yuan Qian spoke with a faint smile. What do you mean? An elder asked in a stunned fashion. It seems like the devouring master does not wish for his inheritance to be obtained by someone who has stepped into the reincarnation stage. This is because those who had advanced into the reincarnation stage typically possess their own training methods and it is nigh impossible for them to change. Henceforth, it would do more harm than good if they obtained his inheritance. Yuan Qian laughed and explained. Not everyone is suitable to obtain his inheritance. The Devouring Master most likely wants to leave his inheritance to the most suitable person. The elders nodded. With such a large commotion, what should our dragon tribe do? We must definitely get involved. However, the devil suppressing prison is under our dragon tribe and I cannot leave. Therefore, let that fellow Lu Cheng lead a group to investigate this matter. Coincidentally, he has just left his seclusion. Although he has yet to step into the reincarnation stage, he has vaguely touched reincarnation. Hence, if he manages to obtain the inheritance of the Devouring Master, it might be possible for him to make a breakthrough. Yuan Qian smiled and said. Lu Qing? That training manic has actually came out of his seclusion? The elders were startled when they heard those words. I, Dian Shan's group, he is an idol that is merely ranked beneath Cheng Shi. Oh, that's right, I almost forgot. Our new punishment elder possessed the devouring ancestral symbol. It is likely that he will be the first to detect this incident. Given his character, he will definitely not miss out on this. Yuan Qian laughed. Elder Lin Dong huh? Ha ha, this is going to be interesting. Lu Cheng had also received some pointers from Lord Qingji back then. I wonder how lively it will be if those two fellows, 
who both practice the Green Heaven Materialized Dragon skill, were to meet. The surrounding elders laughed immediately. It seems like they were very interested to witness such an encounter. Yuan Chien nodded. After which, he cast his attention towards the distant north. When he detected the chaotic ripples in the sky, he sighed softly. It seems like there was going to be quite a huge commotion this time around. One can only wonder who will be fortunate enough to successfully obtain the Devouring Master's inheritance. While Yuan Chien's group was chatting in the sky, a slim and graceful individual wearing black armor, was seated on a black throne deep within the devil suppressing prison under the dragon tribe. Suddenly, she opened her tightly shut eyes. She lifted her head. Her sight seemed to penetrate through the land as she stared at a certain empty spot in the sky. Meanwhile, there was a look of melancholy in her eyes. Clearly, she had also detected a familiar fluctuation. Your dreams, we will help you to finish what you started. This world will definitely not fall into the hands of the emo. Finally, she slowly shut her eyes. After which, a serene voice resounded across this quiet devil suppressing prison. It was obvious that the Dragon Tribe was not the only faction that detected the ripples emitted from the northernmost part of the Demon region. Soon after the Dragon Tribe detected those ripples, many top experts from the Celestial Demon Martin Tribe, Nine Phoenix Tribe and Kunpeng Tribe also detected them. Subsequently, those tribes erupted into an uproar. Since Yuan Chien was able to deduce the origin of the expert who died in that shattered space, there were naturally some experienced individuals in the other three overlord tribes who could do so. Hence, they quickly deduced that it was related to the Devouring Master. After they realized what was going on, a commotion was undoubtedly stirred. Although there were top-tier experts in these three overlord tribes who have stepped into the reincarnation stage, a top-tier expert from the ancient times was clearly someone that an ordinary reincarnation stage expert could not match up to. Therefore, the items that he left behind would even entice a reincarnation stage expert. Hence, the three overlord tribes quickly made various preparations. Clearly, they did not want to miss out on such a huge opportunity. This shock also gradually spread. After the four overlord tribes, the eight great king tribes also realized it as well. However, their foundations were indeed a little weaker than the four overlord tribes. Hence, they only managed to deduce that there was an ancient top tier expert who died in that shattered space. However, they did not know his exact identity. Nonetheless, they were still compelled to act. After all, any items left behind by an ultimate reincarnation stage expert possessed a temptation that no one could resist. Hence, they naturally wanted to have a share of this scrumptious meal. Of course, the demon region was extremely vast and there were countless powerful individuals within. Other than the four overlord tribes and the eight great king tribes, there were also many powerful factions, who were not as well known. Though these factions typically hid their strength, their hidden strength cannot be underestimated. Typically, it was difficult to find out about their exact strength. However, when a situation like this occurs, those factions, which typically hid their strength, would still make a move owing to the overwhelming temptation. In summary, the entire demon region was about to erupt into an uproar. While the entire demon region gradually erupted into an uproar, over at a certain mountain range deep within the demon region. This mountain range was dark black in color. Meanwhile, the black clouds permeating above were filled with dark and sinister ripples. Deep within that mountain range, black fog suddenly gathered on a mountain top, before a black shadow appeared in a strange fashion. He was completely covered by black fog. Meanwhile, his emotionless eyes were looking towards the north. Ha! Is that where the devouring master died? That hateful fellow truly refuses to allow one to be at peace even after his death. The black figure looked towards the north, before his hoarse voice slowly sounded. Ghost Abyss King, it seems like various factions have dispatched many powerful individuals to the northernmost area. What should we do? Behind this black figure, the black fog squirmed before a human figure appeared and laughed in a strange fashion. There is no way that we will miss out on such a grand event. In the past, we were only able to kill the Devouring Master after much difficulties. If someone was allowed to receive his inheritance, there will be another Devouring Master in this world. That will be bad news for us. The figure in front of that black shadow said in an indifferent manner. Do you mean? Let's head to the northernmost area. Whoever obtains the Devouring Master's inheritance. His voice paused after he mentioned this point. Soon after, dark and sinister killing intent surged forth like floodwaters. We'll kill him immediately. In front of the Mountain Hall of Four Titans Palace, Lin Dong stood on a tall platform and looked at the strong individuals gathered in front of him. A satisfied expression flashed over his face. 
Having undergone a growth phase for a period of time, the scale of 4 Titans Palace was clearly several times greater than before. Moreover, the peak experts within the current palace had stepped into the Samsara stage. If his initial symbol Grandmaster level was added in, there would be a total of 6 people with such strength. With such a lineup, let alone the Beast War region, there were very few factions even in the nearby regions that could match them. Although they were gradually growing stronger, 4 Titans Palace had simply continued to entrench themselves in the Beast War region, and did not recklessly try to conquer new territories around them. Though invasion could allow the reputation of 4 Titans Palace to spread rapidly, the price was to be secretly targeted by many factions due to them overly exposing their blade. Currently, all of Lin Dong's efforts had been placed on the devouring Divine Palace and it was obviously impossible for them to split their attention on other issues. Brother Ghost Condor will continue to stand guard in 4 Titans Palace during our trip to the Northern Region. The rest of you will accompany me. Lin Dong turned his head to look at Little Flame, the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander and the rest as he declared. Despite the importance of the devouring Divine Palace, Lin Dong was also a little worried about 4 Titans Palace. Strong individuals must remain behind to guard it. Otherwise, if the territory that they had painstakingly established was conquered, the effort and time they would need to spend when they return would increase. This was not something that Lin Dong did not wish to see. It was also necessary to consider who should be left behind to guard this place. Both the Joe brothers could be struck off. They had only recently joined 4 Titans Palace and little was known about them. Hence, it was best for them to remain beside Lin Dong, who could suppress them, at such a time. If they were left behind in 4 Titans Palace, there was no guarantee that they would not do something inappropriate. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander trio could be trusted. However, the usually cautious Ghost Condor Demon Commander was still the best choice when it came to guarding their home. Haha, ha, Brother Lin Dong, you can be rest assured and lead 4 Titans Palace to me. The Ghost Condor Demon Commander nodded. Although he was unable to personally witness the source of the huge commotion in the entire demon region in the northern region, he did not have any objection to Lin Dong's orders. The remaining experts will all stay and guard 4 Titans Palace. Maintain the highest vigilance while we are away. Do not make any mistakes. Lin Dong was not planning on bringing along a large number of troops with him on this trip to the northern region. A fight of this level was no longer something that one could make up with numbers. Only those top experts with true ability would be able to deter others. Understood. The many strong individuals from 4 Titans Palace below cried out in unison. Lin Dong deeply inhaled a breath of air. He subsequently waved his hand and said in a deep voice, let's go. His body took the lead to turn into a flash of bright light that swept forth when his words sounded. Little Martin, Little Flame, the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander and the others closely followed behind. We pray for leader to return in triumph. All the members of 4 Titans Palace below cupped their hands together and cried out together. Seven rays of light shot across the sky as they cried out. Soon after, the lights disappeared into the northern sky. Many rays of light also rose from various parts of the demon region when Lin Dong's group left. Their destination was north of the demon region. Following the movements of these various factions, the entire demon region had completely fallen into a state of excitement. The demon region was extremely vast. Hence, even though Lin Dong's group relied on their powerful strength to travel day and night, it was seven days later before they approached the extreme north of the demon region. During this journey, Lin Dong finally witnessed just how frightening a temptation the appearance of the devouring divine palace was this time around. Every day, he saw many large groups of people and most of them possessed rather substantial strength. He was still barely able to identify some of these groups, but most of them were unfamiliar to him. Despite this unfamiliarity, the strength of these groups still surprised Lin Dong. It seemed that there were many powerful hidden experts in this demon region. A majority of these people might be aware that there was a reincarnation stage top expert who had died within the shattered space, but they did not know that the identity of this person was one of the eight ancient masters, the devouring master. Nevertheless, this did not dampen their desire. The inheritance of a mere reincarnation stage top expert was sufficient to make them go crazy. This discovery caused Lin Dong to smile bitterly. Fortunately, the news related to the devouring master had yet to spread. Otherwise, it was likely that some factions would even give up guarding their headquarters and lead all troops over. The situation had already become somewhat chaotic. Looks like the fight for the inheritance would have to be taken a step at a time. Lin Dong's group finally reached the extreme north on the ninth day. However, the scene in front of them caused the expressions of the seven to be a little blank when they arrived. 
The extreme north of the Demon region had originally been an extremely deserted place. Hardly anyone lived here due to the harsh environment. Normally, one would have difficulty finding half a shadow. Yet, Lin Dong's group stood atop a mountain. The area in front of them was a barren plains. However, the barren plains was filled with a churning black mass of people that endlessly stretched on. Rushing wind sound appeared in the sky from time to time as many travel-worn figures continuously hurried over. An earth-shaking hubbub gathered together, and even the cold wind that enveloped this area had been slightly scattered. A racket of such scale was a rare sight. This is a little too ridiculous, right? The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander parted his lips and involuntarily laughed bitterly. In what way was this place a deserted wilderness? At a glance, it was even more lively than a city. Moreover, with his eyesight, he could see that everyone who had come here possessed great strength. Any one of them would be able to obtain quite a good position within any faction. Yet, they were found in such great numbers here. Originally, things would not have been like this. However, everyone was too anxious and rushed over to this place with great haste. How can this not attract the curiosity of others? Lin Dong shook his head and said. The wind in this extreme north region is extremely strong. This period of time is when it is at its strongest. An ordinary expert would not dare to randomly roam about. Little Martin looked towards the ends of the barren plains where a dark whitish color was revealed in the sky. The wind there was extremely sharp. If this wind was to form a storm, even a samsara stage expert would become extremely miserable. The natural disaster of this dangerous place was extremely frightening. I, We will perhaps have to wait a little longer in this place. Lin Dong nodded. He had only just spoken when his expression altered as his eyes looked towards the southern sky where a nine-colored light ray suddenly swept over the sky from the south. A 10,000 feet large giant nine-colored bird flapped its huge wings within the light as it tore apart space and arrived. Lin Dong could detect a relatively frightening aura from the back of the huge bird. It's the Nine Phoenix tribe. Little Martin glanced at the giant nine-colored bird and said in a faint voice. Lin Dong's eyes narrowed upon hearing this. He did not have a good impression of the Nine Phoenix tribe due to Mong Mountain's attack on Four Titans Palace. By the side, the expressions of the Zhou brothers darkened as they frowned. The giant nine-colored bird quickly appeared above the barren plains. Finally, the nine-colored light faded in front of many respectful and fearful eyes. It eventually turned into eight figures that stood in the air. Lin Dong was the first to look over when the eight figures appeared. The leader of the eight was a man in beautiful robes. The man appeared handsome and had fair skin, while his hair was completely white. However, from the frightening ripple that emanated from within his body, he was clearly an ancient monster who appeared young on the surface. So powerful. Lin Dong looked at the white-haired man as his eyes hardened. The ripples from the latter's body caused him to be a little fearful. It was likely not weaker than that of First Elder Julie from the Celestial Demon Martin tribe. That is the First Elder of the Nine Phoenix tribe, Muti. By the side, Zhou Yi suddenly said. However, his voice contained an intense hatred. Lin Dong glanced at the Zhou brothers and was struck with a sudden flash of understanding. It seemed that this was the person who had forced them out of the western sand region and made them flee like homeless strays. Lin Dong's eyes drifted over Muti before pausing. This was because he had seen a familiar face. It was mysterious King Luo Tang of Mong Mountain. He was also a member of the Nine Phoenix tribe, and it seemed that he had come along this time. It seems that enemies frequently cross paths. Lin Dong looked at Luo Tang and faintly smiled. While Lin Dong was staring at Luo Tang, the latter also appeared to have detected something. His gaze shifted and found Lin Dong. After which, Luo Tang's expression stiffened and a frosty look flashed across his face. Subsequently, he stepped forward and softly said something to First Elder Muti from the Nine Phoenix Tribe. First Elder Muti from the Nine Phoenix Tribe shifted his gaze while Luo Tang spoke. Finally, it stopped at the mountain where Lin Dong's group was located. Haha, ha, you are the new punishment elder of the Dragon Tribe? Mu Dai's eyes were filled with ridicule as he stared at Lin Dong while his indifferent voice thundered across the sky, attracting the attention of countless experts. Lin Dong knew that he could not hide after seeing the situation. Hence, he smiled and replied, I am indeed the one. Does First Elder Muti have any pointers for me? The Dragon Tribe has always done things according to the rules. However, to have handed over the position of Punishment Elder to a mere human, it seems that Yuan Qian has become rather muddle-headed this time around. What a joke? Muti said in a faint voice. Perhaps First Elder Muti does not have the right to comment on the matters of the Dragon Tribe, no? Lin Dong grinned. However, his tone did not appear to cower because of the other party's strength. The originally noisy atmosphere froze slightly after these words sounded. 
many strong individuals were stunned. After all, there were very few people who dared to be so arrogant after being aware of Mu Dai's identity. Some of those who were aware of the conflict between Four Titans Palace and Mong Mountain secretly laughed. Behind Mong Mountain was the Nine Phoenix Tribe. Clearly, this first elder Muti was still brooding over the matter of Mong Mountain being forced back by Four Titans Palace. Now, he was planning to retaliate. The Nine Phoenix Tribe might be strong, but the human leader of Four Titans Palace did not appear ordinary either. How presumptuous! Who do you think you are? How dare you speak to First Elder in such a manner? Luo Tong cried out in a stern and furious voice. The faces of the few people beside them also turned chilly as he cried out in anger as a monstrous ripple was emitted. All of them possessed the frightening strength of the Samsara stage. It seemed that the Nine Phoenix tribe had sent out a really strong force. A cold look flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. However, before he could speak, a loud laughter, which was accompanied by waves of dragon roars, echoed from far away. Ha ha, is the punishment elder of my dragon tribe someone whom trash like Luotan can shout at? Do you really think that your Nine Phoenix tribe can step over the heads of my dragon tribe? Countless eyes shifted as the dragon roar sounded. After which, they saw a light figure flashing in the distance. Soon after, a couple of figures appeared. The person leading them wore green clothes, and his wild aura permeated the sky. A dragon roar resounded across the sky. After which, while being stared at by countless onlookers, a light was glimmering in the distance before eight figures appeared in the sky. Leading this group, was a man dressed in green clothes. His looks were fairly ordinary, but the arrogance that covered his face left a deep impression on anyone who saw him. Currently, this green clothed man's hands were crossed over his chest. He wore a look of contempt as he stared at the distant Luo Tong. His demeanor demonstrated that he hardly paid any respect to the Nine Phoenix tribe. Lu Jing? When Luo Tong saw the green clothed man, his expression changed immediately. In fact, a tinge of fear actually flashed across his eyes. They are from the Dragon tribe. Lin Dong was startled as well. Following which, he saw a familiar figure behind the green clothed man. It was actually Duan Tao. It seems like the Dragon Tribe did not wish to miss out on this grand event as well. Who is this person? I have never seen him before. Lin Dong glanced at that haughty looking green clothed man before he softly asked. He did not see that person when he was at the Dragon Tribe. However, the aura radiating from the latter caused him to be stunned. In fact, he had already surpassed an ordinary Samsara stage expert and vaguely touched reincarnation. Nonetheless, he was still a little lacking compared to First Elder Ju Li from the Celestial Demon Marta tribe, and First Elder Mu Di from the Nine Phoenix tribe. After Lin Dong's mental energy cultivation advanced to the symbol Grand Master level, he was officially considered as part of the global elite. However, those within the Samsara stage were also ranked accordingly. Moreover, the ranking system was fairly unique and it was not determined by the strength of one's Yuan power. Instead, it was determined by who had a deeper understanding of reincarnation. Once one was able to comprehend reincarnation, one would be considered as an expert who has touched reincarnation. Only after reaching this stage, would one be qualified to attempt to break into that peak level, reincarnation stage. Those individuals like the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander Trio were mostly ordinary Samsara stage practitioners. However, those individuals like First Elder Ju Li and Muti had already touched reincarnation. Therefore, though these two groups were technically on the same cultivation level, there was a huge difference in their strength. Currently, that green clothed man had clearly reached the stage, whereby he had made contact with reincarnation. However, his understanding of reincarnation was a little weaker compared to old demons like Julie and Muti. Nonetheless, an ordinary Samsara stage expert was definitely no match for him. That is Lu Cheng from the Dragon Tribe. An extremely powerful person. It is rumored that he is crazy about training and he is also the youngest person in the Dragon Tribe's Elders Council. Additionally, he personally received pointers from Cheng Ji before. Therefore, he also practices the Green Heaven Materialized Dragon skill. It seems like Little Martin was quite familiar with that person as he replied Lin Dong. Oh? He has also learned the Green Heaven Materialized Dragon skill? Lin Dong was slightly startled. Promptly, his interest was piqued. Green Heaven Materialized Dragon skill was considered as a top-tier martial arts of the Dragon Tribe. However, other than Cheng Ji, he had yet to meet anyone else who practiced it. Hey, regardless, Lin Dong is the punishment elder of our Dragon Tribe. Are you trying to humiliate our Dragon Tribe by speaking of him in this manner? Lu Cheng was hovering in the sky with his hands crossed over his chest, before he chuckled. Luo Tong had a somewhat ugly expression. 
However, he did not dare to retort owing to Lu Cheng's fearsome reputation. Oh? It is actually that little brat Lu Cheng from the Dragon Tribe. This old man has always been a straight shooter. In fact, even if your tribe leader is here, I will still say what I want to. Muti frowned and said after he saw Lu Cheng butting in. Blah, old fellow, you should stop trying to use your age to put me down. I would very much prefer to talk directly using our fists rather than seniority. The corner of Lu Ching's mouth was curled and his tone was extremely impolite. Although he was indeed ranked a little lower than Muti in terms of seniority, he was extremely powerful. If they were to exchange blows, it was likely that he had no need to fear this first elder of the Nine Phoenix tribe. Humphrey, ignorant and arrogant fool. Mu Dai's expression darkened before the space around him gradually became contorted. After which, a faint and mysterious ripple spread. That ripple might be extremely faint, but countless individuals felt an extremely powerful pressure radiating from it. That pressure had the taste of reincarnation. Little fellow, though you touched reincarnation within merely a hundred years, I'm afraid it's still too early for you to act arrogantly in front of me. Ha, old fellow, if you feel upset, you can take a swing at me with your fists. Then, you'll find out if I am qualified to act this haughtily. Lu Cheng was not the least bit fearful when he saw an enraged Muti. Instead, it seems like he was eager to fight as his laughter resounded across the plate. Standing on a mountaintop, Lin Dong chuckled when he heard this. Lu Cheng might be an extremely arrogant person, but Lin Dong had a favorable impression of him. Mu Dai's expression also gradually became gloomy. Just as he was about to lose control and attack Lu Cheng to teach him a lesson, an elderly laughter suddenly resounded across the sky. Ha! It seems like this place is really lively. The space became distorted when the laughter sounded. Soon after, purple-black light flashed before a couple of figures appeared. Vast and mighty ripples spread when they did so, causing many to throw their stunned gazes over. My guys are finally here. Little Martin looked at the sky and said lazily. Upon hearing this, Lin Dong smiled before he turned to look. At that spot, he saw a group with terrifying aura suddenly appearing in the sky. They were being led by First Elder Julie from the Celestial Demon Marta tribe. So it's First Elder Julie. Muti frowned slightly when he saw the leader of the group, First Elder Julie. After which, he frowned before he spoke with a faint smile. He was not as rude to Julie as he was to Lu Ching. After all, the status and strength of the former were on the same level as him. So it's First Elder Muti. It has been many years since we last met. First Elder Julie laughed. Everyone is here because of the shattered space. What is the point of fighting now? It's not that this old man wants to fight with Lu Ching. However, the Four Titans Palace has offended my Nine Phoenix tribe and I am merely trying to win some respect back. Otherwise, others might look down on my Nine Phoenix tribe. Muti said. Oh? First Elder Jun Li smilingly looked towards Lin Dong's group, who were located on the mountaintop. He subsequently shook his head and said, First Elder Muti, young brother Lin Dong is a benefactor of our celestial demon Marta tribe. Therefore, even if the Dragon Tribe doesn't speak up, my Celestial Demon Marta Tribe will definitely not stand by idly. Whoa! An uproar erupted when he uttered those words. Many powerful individuals were stunned as they stared at Lin Dong's group. After all, they did not expect that the latter actually had such powerful backers. Not only was Lin Dong the Dragon Tribe's punishment elder, but he even had such a close relationship with the Celestial Demon Marta Tribe. It's no wonder he was not afraid of offending the Nine Phoenix tribe. His background was truly startling. You? Muti was also taken back by Ju Li's words. After which, his originally gloomy face darkened further, while an additional tinge of surprise was present in his eyes. After all, he never expected that both the Dragon tribe and the Celestial Demon Marta tribe would choose to offend the Nine Phoenix tribe over a human lad. Mudai's eyes were gloomy. After which, he turned his head before he stealthily looked at an inconspicuous figure standing behind him. This figure was small in size and his body was wrapped by loose ropes. He acted as though he did not see Mudai's eyes as he shook his head in an unnoticeable manner. Muti withdrew his eyes. He waved his sleeves and snorted coldly, on account of the Dragon Tribe and the Celestial Demon Marta Tribe, I will let you off today. However, if you offend my Nine Phoenix Tribe again, it is likely that the matter would not be resolved so easily. Lin Dong smiled and said, what is First Elder Muti saying? I am someone who does not offend anyone who does not offend me. As long as the Nine Phoenix tribe does not come and mess with me, I will not bother you guys. Of course, if anyone dares to mess with me, they shall also learn that I, Lin Dong, am not someone you want to mess with. 
Lin Dong's tone had an additional trace of ferocity when he spoke. The Nine Phoenix tribe was indeed powerful, but they would be mistaken if they thought that he was a pushover. Humphrey, someone who does not know how to appreciate kindness. Muti snorted coldly, while his eyes were filled with anger. However, he could not unleash his fury at this moment. All he could do, was to ruthlessly glare at Lin Dong before completely ignoring him. Standing in the sky, First Elder Julie grinned when he saw this scene. After which, he landed on the ground together with a couple of elders from the Celestial Demon Martin tribe. Then, he smiled as he looked at Lin Dong and said, Little fellow, you truly cause problems everywhere you go. First Elder, this has nothing to do with me. I didn't even utter a single word before the other party came knocking on my door. Lin Dong spread his hands in an innocent manner. The Nine Phoenix tribe was the party who came looking for trouble today. Moreover, First Elder, the reason why all of you hurried over. Is it because you guys are interested in the devouring divine palace? Lin Dong glanced at First Elder Jun Li and asked. However, he intentionally said the second sentence with a softer voice. I am aware that you own the devouring ancestral symbol. First Elder Julie looked at Lin Dong with a deeper meaning in his eyes, before he said, You are the one with the highest potential to obtain the inheritance of the Devouring Master. The main reason why tribe leader sent me here is to assist you. Although you have advanced to the initial symbol Grand Master level, there are many powerful hidden individuals in the Demon region. Hence, it'll likely be no easy task for you to obtain the inheritance with your current strength. In that case, please help me to convey my thanks to the tribe leader. Lin Dong laughed and he felt some gratitude in his heart. The Devouring Master's inheritance was extremely tempting. Yet, the Celestial Demon Martin tribe actually chose to assist him. This was indeed a huge favor. Ha! Brother Lin Dong, how have you been? Another familiar laughter was transmitted over while Lin Dong was chatting with First Elder Julie. Lin Dong turned his head before he saw the group of Dragon Tribe experts walking towards him. The person laughing heartily was Duan Tao. Lin Dong cupped his hands towards Duan Tao and smiled. Then, he rotated his eyes and paused on Lu Qing, who was currently staring at him. Hey, are you that Lin Dong who caught the eye of Lord Cheng Ji? The pride on Lu Qing's face did not diminish as he smilingly looked at Lin Dong. Instead, his eyes were filled with some heat. Yes, I am. Although Lu Qing's face was plastered with arrogance, he did not hold any ill intent towards Lin Dong. Hence, Lin Dong smiled and replied, Lu Qing laughed out loud. A moment later, he took a step forward. Immediately, green light surged around him before an earth-shaking dragon roar sounded. After which, thousands of green dragon light tattoos rose. The ore caused many huge cracks to appear on the mountain. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander, Little Flame and the rest were all startled upon seeing this. They were just about to stand in front of Lin Dong, when the latter waved his hand to stop them. Since Big Brother Lu Qing wants to test my Green Heaven Materialized Dragon skill, I will likely cause Senior Qing Ji to throw his face if I refuse. Alright, today, I shall be seeking pointers from Big Brother Lu Qing. Lin Dong smiled. Promptly, he clenched both his hands before purple gold dragon light tattoos surged out from within his body. An ancient and pure dragon pressure, which resembled that of a huge dragon, slowly awakened. 